you look good in your regalia. Now that you've been dressed and you've walked around and had photos with your family and friends, you've sat down, you've stood up, you've sat back down again and you're going to stand and sit a few more times just yet, your academic robes will have slipped a bit. So a handy hint for the wise is that you pull your gown forward on your shoulders and shrug your shoulders in when you stand up to line up across the stage. Okay? For those of you who can't see me behind the speaker, we are going to pull our shoulders forward and shrug into the, the gown, okay? All right, now, your trencher, which is the lovely festival of yellow and red that you're all sporting today, raise your hand to the tip of your hat, doesn't matter which hand, just on the tip or on the side of your hat. Everybody practice with me. Audience can do the same practice to your imaginary hat. Yeah. Okay. If you forget to do it, that's fine. We don't revoke your degree, okay? You've done the hard work, now's the party. If you do it incorrectly, again, not gonna dock you for it. It's not a bow, it's not a curtsy, it's just a straight, okay? Even if it's in the general vicinity because you're too nervous to think about where your hat is, general vicinity works. Okay. Now, my lovely assistant Katie here will help us demonstrate what you need to do when you come up on the stage. So my friends Susan and Naomi, they're in the side, will help you when you need to stand up. They will check your names off twice, just like Santa making a list and checking it twice to make sure you're in the right row. Okay. When your name is, when you're instructed, please stand at the top of the ramp. There's an even, there's even a little sign there that says, stand here. Okay, you can't miss it, it says stand here. You will stand there as your name is called by the presenter from this lectern, an academic procession. But if you have any questions in the meantime, please signal one of our ushers to assist you.
Hello everyone. I'm Professor Renee Leon, Vice-Chancellor of Charles Sturt University. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the land and pay my respects to the heritage and culture of elders past, present and emerging. I am proud to send this graduation message to you. On behalf of the entire Charles Sturt University community, I extend my congratulations to you. Your achievement is a testament to perseverance, ambition and adaptability. Part of the excitement of graduating is being able to share it with your family, friends and those that have supported you. You have worked hard at achieving the success that we celebrate with you today. Graduating is a major life achievement and it truly is a day to celebrate. And I ask you to pause and contemplate the journey that has led you to this moment. At some point, I'm sure that each of you will have faced professional, personal, academic, and even pandemic challenges. I want you to take a moment to reflect on your significant academic achievement and how it will help you to go where you want to be in the future. The ethos at Charles Sturt University is clearly described by the Wiradjuri phrase, Yindyamara Winangana, which means the wisdom of respectfully knowing how to live well in a world worth living in. With the experiences you have gained during your studies, you are uniquely placed to go out into the world and enjoy a career that makes a real difference to your community. I wish you every success as you embark on your next steps. And remember, as alumni, you will always be a valued member of the Charles Sturt University community and I urge you to keep in contact with us as you continue your professional and personal journey. Once again, congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for the future. Thank you. on today. We acknowledge the deep feelings of attachment and relationship of Aboriginal people to country. We also pay our respects to other Aboriginal people and elders present here attending from other areas of Australia. We acknowledge that many cultures live on this land today and we should collectively respect the land, its past and present story for our future generations to enjoy. With that, Please join us in viewing an acknowledgement of country to express our collective respect for the traditional custodians of country where learning and research takes place. Across Australia and the world, wherever our students learn, our researchers discover and our communities meet, we acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the lands. We acknowledge that our footprint extends across the lands. We pay our respects to our elders, past, present, emerging, and those still to come. And we acknowledge the essential place that all First Nations peoples have within our university, through our languages, cultures, knowledge, and ceremonies, as sovereign peoples in our regions and communities. At Charles Sturt University, we are guided in everything we do by the Wiradjuri phrase, Yindamara Manangala, the wisdom of respectfully knowing how to live well in a world worth living in. Its essence of meaning is that we all seek to create a world worth living in by developing and spreading knowledges. And we do so by making connections and building relationships. Connecting all students to educational opportunities that facilitate and focus on them reaching their potentials. Connecting our research to real world contexts. Connecting new technologies with traditional knowledge systems to recover, protect ecosystems and to forge a more sustainable future. Connecting people to share ideas as we work together for a brighter tomorrow. One that respects First Nations ways of knowing, being and doing. 
and creates a world worth living in. Thank you. Please all now stand to join Mr Nicholas Gentile in singing the first verse of the Australian National Anthem. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil, our home is girt by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts, of beauty rich and rare in history's page let every stage advance australia fair in joyful strains then let us sing advance australia fair Please be seated and thank you, Nicholas. I now invite today's presiding officer, University Council member, Mr. John Lloyd, to deliver the opening address. Graduates and distinguished guests, I'm delighted to welcome you to the 2022 Charles Sturt University graduation ceremony. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Tiburug people, and also pay respect to the heritage and culture of elders both past and present, and extend that respect to other First Nations people here today. I'd also like to extend a special welcome to Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic, Professor Graham Brown, and our guest speaker, Ms. Grissel, Castro. I thank each of you, including those on the live stream, for making time to share in today's celebrations. I would like to officially welcome our graduates, along with their families and friends, after an unprecedented two years. It's an honour and a pleasure to come together in person now to celebrate the achievements of our graduates and also the spirit and resilience of everyone in the community over this difficult time. Your achievement in graduating today is a testament to perseverance and ambition. Part of the excitement today is being able to share it with those that love and have supported you throughout your journey, the journey that has brought you to this defining moment. Our graduates are a diverse range of students. Some here today might be the first person in their family to attend and graduate from university. I was. In fact, I was the first person to do the HSC a long time ago. Some have studied part-time and have balanced work and family commitments to complete their present the award to Ms. Grizel Crastro. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, and distinguished guests. My name is Grizel Crasto, and I'm speaking to you today as the highly commended recipient of the Distinguished International Alumnus of the Year for Charles Sturt University. You probably, you probably wish guests, it's time to get the cameras out. We are now at our most important part of the ceremony today. 
I now invite the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Science and Health, Professor Megan Smith, to present our graduates to the presiding officer, University Council Member, Mr. John Lloyd. Now, I'm about to start reading some names, but as Kim said, this is a moment of celebration. So please clap, cheer, salute, whatever you want to do to acknowledge our graduates as they go up on the stage. Make this a memorable time for them. Presiding officer, I present the graduate in the Master of Clinical Exercise Physiology, Marvin Malabanan. Presiding Officer, I present the graduate in the Master of Medical Radiation Science, Danielle Zeraudis. <laughs> Presiding Officer, I present the graduates in the Master of Medical Science, with distinction, Zara Awadi. Sanjana Devi. <laughs> Anita Marie Hamer. Presiding Officer, I present the graduates in the Master of Nursing, Griselle Bibiana Crasto. <laughs> Tamsankwa Nidwini. Emma Kate Wilscroft. <laughs> Presiding Officer, I present the graduates in the Master of Paramedicine, with distinction, Joshua Bampton. And thank you, graduates. You may now, now be seated. Graduates and distinguished guests, our time together today is over. That concludes our ceremony today. On behalf of our presiding officer, our university council members, all Charles Sturt University staff, I'd like to thank you for joining us for being part of today's celebration. I invite you all to join us downstairs for refreshments. I ask that you please stand while the official party retires. Please remain standing guests while our graduates follow the academic procession out of the auditorium, after which our guests will then leave via the doors behind me and to the side. For those of you who need uh, lift access, we'll get you through the lifts as soon as the foyer clears. Please stand. <laughs>